Today I'm working on a journal. I got these uh, moleskin journals. There were three of them. I got them on Amazon. I'll put the link below if I can find it. Um, but it's nice paper. And I had <clears throat> I'd gone thrift shopping the other day and found this. 2,548 best things ever said. And there's some great quotes in here. Some very funny quotes in here. And as you can see, the price was originally $12.99. I paid $1.99. And it also has some nice illustrations. Weird little things that I can use later on. Like not, the quote, some of the quotes, nothing fails like success. Anyone seen on a bus after the age of 30 has been a failure in life. All jobs should be open to everybody unless they require a penis or a, you know what. Uh, anybody who works is a fool. I don't work. I merely inflict myself on the public. I mean, they're the greatest quotes in here. And the reason why I wanted to make a journal using this is to practice my handwriting. It's really, really bad. And I bought a, I also got, at the same time I got this, I got a book on calligraphy, which, you know, I don't want to get too fancy. I just want my handwriting to be better. So I figured I'm going to do this journal. And if you look at how many pages it's got, I don't know how many, but it's got a lot doesn't actually say on it but um I want to do this I'm going to do the background and then I'm going to make it a quote journal of all my favorite things from this book because this book has some funny things in it so I'm going to start today we're going to gel print some pages and then I'm going to gel print some tissue to put over the pages I have to um leave room for writing but I'm also going to do some of my art in this too probably some um, collage in it but it's a nice journal and it was plain and it has moleskin paper which is really I like the way it feels so first I'm going to do a couple of pages and then set them out to dry and then do some tissue paper to uh, paste into the pages I don't think I want to I don't think I want to glue thicker paper paper over it but tissue paper here and there will be nice I don't want it to get too thick so I'm and I'm using up I have like three of those small sets of paints that people have given me and uh, they just sit around because I usually use the big tubes it's acrylic and I'm going to use up as much of this as I can in the next couple projects so and of course my go-to that I can't live without my quinacrinone nickel azo gold can't live without that I love that I don't know I think I'm gonna be I'm gonna put color in this but I think I'm gonna kind of air towards the earthy side it would fit those quotes better so right now my gel plate has some purple on it which should come up in the next couple of passes and I'm also doing these these little page things that I'm going to make jewelry out of later but that's going to be my roll-off pages. So I'm going to get going on this. Now some of this, some of these paints are really old and probably won't do that well. But we'll see. I love the quotes in that book. And I can't wait to try and write some of them out. I'm I used to have better handwriting, but if you don't practice anything, that's what happens. It just goes away. Now let's... Looks fairly dry already. Um, let's do something... Let's do a little bit of green. Can't get any more earthier than green, I think. I know when I think of earthy, I think of brown. But the earth has a lot more colors other than brown. Now, I'm going to get into my box of stencils, which I conveniently have sitting right here. I package up my frequently used stencils in one bag. That way I don't have to fuss too much. Let's do some dots. 
and maybe some stripes. And we'll pick that up with, I don't think I'm going to do too many different designs in here. Pick that up with this. And a piece of tissue paper, or paper towel is all I got. That's fairly subtle enough to write over. I'm going to put my paint up there a little so I got room. I'm going to start probably in the middle of the book, at least close to the middle of the book. And I believe I have some wax paper over there to put between the pages. Okay, that's a good start. As you can see, that's a pretty good start. And I will also use stamps and, like I said, my own my own drawings on this too. All right, let's put a little blue on the other side. Oh, that's purple, but eh, it'll do. I do love purple. Like I said, I'm distracted over here. I'm looking, I'm trying to do this, and I'm distracted by what's on the screen over there on my laptop. That, I like the looks of that. That's subtle. I might have to do something on the edges, but... Yeah, there's two really good pages to put quotes in. And I'm going to take some of the pictures from here and photocopy them and use those two but that's the first two so we'll let that dry don't need all of this put a thin sheet of wax paper between them and while that's drying a little bit because I don't want to close it till it dries we will go with a couple let's do it let's pull it up with quinacronum gold see if we can pull it most of it to start again i don't know there's some grunge on here from three days so i did actually clean it three days ago although you can't tell yeah um i was working on a particular set of earrings i wanted to do so I had to clean what was on it off. Now let's pull up a bit of this bit here and there. These are actually um, <clears throat> stencils from the Dollar Store, the Dollar Tree, I think it was. And they came in. They came in that package. I don't know if you've seen it, where it's a uh, circular thing, and you can rolled the area you need and um i just cut them apart i'm actually going to do a video on the stem i i had a big stencil haul at um dollar tree I, they just had some i'd never seen before so i'm going to do a video on just making may, maybe some pages in this from those stencils i i, I must have bought i think like 10 stencils now this is another tip. I don't know if anybody's ever told you, but when you do, when you do, a lot of people just use their hand. But I use a, a either a tissue or a paper towel and scrunch it up, and you can push down harder, and it actually gets every bit of that stencil, every little detail. I've got some stencils that are really detailed, and this is the only way you can get the detail on them. All right, we're gonna print over that. Cut up for page decoration. That's not bad. Put that off to one side. Yeah, and on these, I just cut the edges off where they were attached to the uh, to that circle, so that I could use them like that. Now this one, 
I'm going to try and pull it up with maybe a white. Maybe not black, that's for sure. What is that? Is that a white or a gray? That is... I hate some of them aren't really well labeled. Uh, and it's got chunks coming off it. Ruin my print. Oh, it is white. We're going to try and pull it up with white. I have to clean that one. Put it to one side so I know I have to clean it. We'll try and see if white will do anything. Just a very thin layer. If it doesn't pull it up well, it should leave something pretty. I'll pull this up with tissue. Well, that's pretty ugly. Pretty darn ugly. We'll do another pull on top of that one. Let's go for something. Yaha. Well, this is Halo Blue. Too much. It's going to be too juicy. Yeah, using these old paints, stuff's falling off them, but I, I really need to use them up. I, I would hate to have them dry up, so using them up is the only other option. Now, let me get another, let me get a big stencil. As you can see, I've never used this one before because it's clean. But we're going to use it and we're going to see if we can't do something with this ugly thing. All right, take my tissue. Oh, that improved it, except for that mucky brown, but this part can be used. And I'm going to go over this one too. With the leftovers. Probably not that many leftovers, but it should look nice and muted. Oh yeah, I like that. That will be nice and in pieces going over the... And it's plain enough in places to, if you're writing in black, to put your quotes. But I'm going to do something. I'll show you what I'm going to do. One of the things that I, oh, let's do, well, stand by, chronochronum gold. We're going to do this on one of the pages. Take a different section. Close that up. It's not going to stick, it's dry enough, but I like to err on the side of caution. All right. Now what I'm going to do Stick this in the middle and see how I can get pages that have let's do the front. I don't care if my, I'm gonna paint the front cover, so I really don't care if it gets a little mucky. See if I can't do like frames so the larger quotes will have see now. See how that came out? Now I, I can have a larger quote in the middle. And then I can go to the other side. Ooh, that picked that all up. Look at that. That'll be nice in pieces. Now I'm going to take this and cover it with something. Oh, I like that. And along the top, I can catch some of this. <sighs> this gives me the middle to do my quote. Probably do somewhere that I'll have edge quotes. Or... Oh, 
hopefully I'll be able to use my papers on the side here. Now let me do the other side with this. spot we missed but look at how pretty that is look at how pretty that is and I actually could take and fill that part with some I'll show you what I'm gonna do with some uh, just a little bit of the runoff so it's not quite so stark white What I'm going to do, I don't know if you can see, is just do the runoff in the middle here. That gives it a little color, and then I'll do some stamping in light colors. The only thing that bothers me is that top which I'm going to fix right now. As you can see, I've already got paint on the outside, so which is okay because I'm going to paint the whole thing. So see, that kind of fixes it. And I'm going to come in with some pens and markers and do some drawings before I, get, before I do anything else. But I'm just trying to get a book where I can do nice little quotes. All right, we'll use some white in the middle here. Let's see if this page can come out. All right, we're going to let those dry. You really do need to let them dry. Let's pull this up for another. I'm probably not going to print all the pages. Some of them are going to be just collage. Some are going to be print. So I need some of these sheets. Some of these uh, tissue sheets. And some pages will I will just tissue over. Some pages will be printed. I like them all to be different. All right, let's put... Let's put another... Between them, I should be able to do at least one more without it getting awkward. But I figure it'll take me a week or so to do the whole book. And when that's done, then I'll start doing my quotes. Let's go back to the earthy, earthy. Let's do some, some dark red. What is this? Monocrodome magenta. Let's do it. Well, that's a color combination. Not sure I'm liking it, but it's a color combination. Let's do some more of these flowers. Really like that. See how nice and crisp that stencil comes up? Even the little tiny dots, and little tiny pieces. And that's because you're pushing down hard with something soft. I guess you could use a sponge on it too, but now let's go over one of these. It's probably not going to get a lot this second time, but my screen over there, every two seconds, it's trying to reconnect, trying to, it's so distracting. Oh, I don't know if I should have done that. That's pretty hideous. Well, I could find pieces of it, I guess. Gonna pull this up. 
Uh, we'll cover that with something. We haven't gone bright. Let's go bright. Won't be that bright because this is just a tiny bit wet and it's going to mix, but it's not all that bad that it mixes. Well, that's not going to be pretty either. Oh, sometimes you get those days, but then you come back with your um, your pens and your stamps and whatever you got. Let's just do a texture on this one. And, I don't know, it kind of fixes it. This is my partially broken bubble wrap, so where it's broken... It does the prettiest fit. Now, don't you wish you could get the paper to look like that? Isn't that pretty? <sighs> okay. We're going to do this in a tissue. What I'm going to do is if I see something I really like, I'm going to do it on a page. If I see something I don't like uh, and it's okay and like this, I'm going to do it on a tissue. The pages. Oh, actually, I probably should have done that on a page. That's quite pretty. A little brighter than what I wanted for this journal, but we might put some yellow over it again. Let that dry for a second. And what did you do? I know what I want to do. I want to do a stencil over the top. Maybe dark green over the stencil. We'll just do it right there. Put some dark green. something I don't like that I need oh, I'm just going to pull it up on the tissue this is just something I would use for borders or pieces I'm not pushing down hard on this one because I want a bit left I'm going to do this on a page so all right see that's something I would cut into strips and use as borders too busy to write on, but now let's see what I can get on a page with this. And as you can see, I've already, already got a mess on the back. That's why I said I wasn't worried about it. I'm going to paint the cover. And you can see how nicely these pages are stitched in, so it should be quite sturdy. came out pretty. I'll probably use my smaller stamp and stamp the stuff along the top and bottom, but that middle came out very nice. And I probably can write over that in black. I don't know. Very nice. I like that. I just want interesting pages. All right, well, this is kind of grungy. So let's put down... I'm going to use the other page. Let's do some blue because I'm not green on one page do some blue base it on blue a little bit brighter in some areas a different stencil this time. 
Uh, one of my little standbys. Which, of course, these two are stuck together. Not by paint, but because they're both flimsy. Alright, so we're going to put that down right there. And we'll pull it up on this. Pull it up lightly. So I use my hand. I don't want it. There you go. That's interesting. <sighs> Gonna give a little bit of texture to what's left. Pull this up. Now see the colors are starting to grunge together, so I'm probably gonna get ready to clean this. I do like grunge to some extent, but you know, there's grunge and then there's yuck. <coughs> I think my allergies are kicking me. At least I know I've had both shots. It's been plenty of time. At least I know it's probably not COVID. Sadly enough, a lot of people can't say that yet, but we're getting there. You know, before I do that, I'm going to put a little texture on it. Give it just a little bit more pizzazz. Slightly. Just a little bit. <clears throat> I like that you can print right in your book. Now, if I was using my bigger plate, I'd be getting the whole page. But I'm not worried about that because I'm going to come back with other things. I'm going to paint it and I'm going to do a lot of other things in it. Oh, that page came out bright. I don't see any of that blue in there. <clears throat> Let's go back and... Finish off the page. With what I can pick up. Let's see if there's any left to this page. There. Okay, I like that. Okay, make sure none of the pages stuck together. And I don't think they did. Okay, well that's enough for today. I'll show you what we did. All right, these are the tissues that I've got. These are the tissues that I've got. This one is nice. I've got this one. Not a lot of them that you can write on. I've got this one. That's pretty nice. I can probably put like a book page on there and right over the book page maybe a slightly printed book page I don't want to put I don't want to glue too many like more than two layers on to those pages they're they're sturdy but they're not thick okay this is um it's good except for here I could probably just use that section of it as a border but this one came out nice yeah, really I like that and that's the end of those. And then I have a book page that I like. That just, you know, centered on something like that. Maybe some drawings on it and the quote down the side. I'll, I can do that. 
my roll off papers came out nice and I'll be, you'd probably be using those for jewelry I'll, I'm going to do a couple more videos on that how to do earrings on that with us that one's nice now let me show you what's in the book I've got these two as you can see I could write up here with no problem at all, and even up here or down here. I don't really have any calligraphy pens. Oh. I swore I did three, but somehow I can only fly. Oh, there it is. All right, now these two pages are nice. This one's a this one's bright, but I I I can do black. Black ink would show up on that. I could do it down the side maybe and then some drawing here. This one I love. But I'll probably have to put a little sheet on top to do any writing on it because it's really busy. And then there's these two. My attempt at a frame. I'll probably go in and fix it a little. Maybe, maybe uh, scrolling along the outside. But see, I'll go back and reprint over these edges. Maybe, maybe this section in here, I'll just do something. And also, sometimes you can just do like here, the, the roll off. You cover what you need to cover. I really like this one. That's really earthy looking. I think I can do something good with that. And that's it for today. I'll do a couple more videos on printing in this and what I'm doing with it, showing the, putting the tissue in it. Keep that all together. I like to keep I like to keep my projects all together and then in, in like a shoe box or something, whatever box will fit them. Because boy, I hate it when I start a project and then I can't find the other pages that I did for the project and oh, drives me nuts. And I am going to go through my tissue pile and find some earthy ones for this so I'm not going to print it's not going to take as long as it seems like it's going to take I'm not going to print every page okay thank you for viewing the video I've got some more coming out on jewelry uh, how to make jewelry with the oh look at that I'm getting myself messy how to make jewelry with the tissue and the paper gel printed paper and tissue 